that's not the type of person I am. <laughs> if I could give life back to that puppy, I really would. I was scared that day. Um, he broke my nose. Um, you know, I've been getting beaten my whole life. Um, I was scared that day that I was supposed to come in. Um, then my face was all over the news. So I made it. So it, I was really scared. And then when I came here, people were basically harassing me. I've been getting harassed all over social media. People are talking about they should break my necks. I'm basically scared to go out, you know, in the community as well. It's 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 scary you know what I mean and I deserve everything I have coming towards me you know what I mean but I just it's, it's a scary situation that I'm going through right now I don't expect anybody to feel bad for me but it's just a tough situation that I've been going through growing up my whole life I'm only 20 years old and I lived a rough life growing up as a kid being beaten by my dad by my alcoholic stepdad and then the one man that I thought loved me, he also beat me, you know what I mean? And I thought it was going to turn out good, but then look at where I'm at, and he's still walking the streets. That's all I have to say. Thank you. And then you have to stay. Uh, yes, Your Honor, thank you. <clears throat> Your Honor, when you're dealing with a felony five case, it's hard to imagine a more uh, egregious set of circumstances. The dog we're talking about here, the name we go puppy named Sonoma here, which of course permission of the court, court. This is what the dog looked like. Sure. Your Honor, I would just respectfully object to the record as to any photographs of the dead animal. This is uh, clearly meant to inflame the passions of the court. I would submit uh, this was a case of murder. Uh, I don't think the court would be viewing pictures of a corpse, and that's what we have here. The animal's dead, Deanna's taking responsibility, and I don't think it's appropriate that uh, photos of an abused and dead animal are appropriate to be submitted to the court. All right, objections over the Thank you. Thank you. The point I'd like to make, Your Honor, is the nature of the defense itself is the only troubling aspect of this. This didn't happen in privacy of their own home. This happened outside. There was people around. When the police responded to the scene, what they saw was a 12-year-old boy with a dog wrapped up in a sweatshirt. A 12-year-old kid shouldn't have to deal with that, Your Honor. Um, in regards to an appropriate sentence in this case, had the defendant shown up at sentencing, then I, the court is undoubtedly aware that she would have been a mandatory probation. Um, by violating that term of her bond, though, however, Your Honor, it is within the discretion of the court to send her to prison so because of the nature of this offense, the state does ask that you impose a mandatory prison sentence in this case. Thank you. Our right, consideration of the record, oral statements made today, the pre-sentence report, the purposes and principles of sentencing, the seriousness and recidivism factors relevant to this offense and this offender, and the need for deterrence, incapacitation, rehabilitation, restitution, and uh, due to the fact that the defendant failed to appear for initial sentencing hearing, the court orders the defendant to serve 12 months in prison on the sole count of this case. The defendant is ordered conveyed to the custody of the Ohio Department of Rehabilitation and Corrections forthwith. The credit is granted for 123 days spent in custody in this case prior to sentence. Together with future custody days while the defendant awaits transportation to the appropriate state institution. Upon completion of the prison term, the defendant shall be subject to a period of post-release control of up to three years. For commission of a felony while on post-release control, a court having jurisdiction of that new felony may extend the state of prison term for further periods not less than six months as provided by law. The defendant shall pay court costs. Thank you, counsel. Your Honor, if I might, uh, given the, uh, the maximum sentence imposed here, which I would uh, state uh, we, we take strong objection to it. I feel it's inappropriate. I don't feel the court has made the appropriate findings as such. Ms. Caraballo would like to exercise her rights to appeal. Uh, I would be more than happy to uh, take assignment for that purpose. I don't think there's any conflict here uh, as such as we're just simply appealing the sentence and the nature of the sentence if the court would allow that. Thank you. No problem. Thank you, Your Honor. Sure. Thank you. Okay. Prosecutor, 
I think she's in there, didn't I?